How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. So, yesterday our stabilizers, the electronic uh, box of the motherboard kind of fried itself. Um, so, the last couple of days we've had no stabilizers on board. Fortunately, the weather has been very good. So we had our technicians in Italy uh, drive yesterday to Milan to pick up a brand new electrical box for our um, stabilizer units. And they got a ferry this morning from the mainland of Italy to Corsica. We're gonna lift anchor shortly. We're currently anchored in Girolata, which is on the west side of Corsica. We got a two hour journey to Calvi. We're docking Calvi. And then from there, the technicians will come on board, remove the old electrical box and install the new one do all the um, necessary checks and make sure it's all calibrated correctly and then the stabilizer will be up and running. Uh, fortunately, we, because of the good weather, the guests have not been affected by this. We've been very lucky. Um, so hopefully by the end of the day, possibly tomorrow morning, we'll have the stabilizers up and running again. So the guys at the moment, there's currently, the deck team currently is packing away the swim platform, putting the swim ladder away, putting the sea bolts away and all the toys. And they're gonna hook up the, the chase boat and then we're gonna lift anchor and then cruise around to the north side of Corsica. And then we should be in port later this afternoon. Weather forecast is looking pretty good. Uh, so yeah, in this video I'm gonna show you the guys coming on board with the box, doing all the installation, the removal. So a bit more of a technical video today. And also the procedure of what it looks like from lifting anchor from here on the bridge. I'll put a GoPro up high and you can see how I'm maneuvering the engine throttles, the, the rudder, and if necessary, the bow thruster. Normally, there's no wind today, so I shouldn't really be normally. I should really be using the bow thruster normally. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, we've got the main engines running. We've got now bow thrust on green light. I'm going to turn on steering pump number one, steering pump number two. We use these when we're lifting anchor, maneuvering import on and. Uh, uh, coming into port and departing port. Okay, Barbara, clear to start lifting anchor. At the moment, guys, we've got um, four shackles in the water. What's going to happen? Barbara's going to give me instructions in the direction of the anchor chain, so I would maneuver the vessel in accordance to the direction. At the moment, we've only got like two, three knots of wind, so I shouldn't really need to maneuver the vessel that much, just move it a bit forward so there's less tension on the windlass. The anchor uh, bar is now pointing, I'm going to move, remo maneuver the vessel towards. Right over to starboard. Engage forward momentum, forward uh, propulsion on the port side engine. Bring the rudder to the center line. I've also got attached the uh, chase boats and they was on the, on the swim platform monitoring the chase boat as well. So as previously mentioned, we've got steering pump number one and two on, bow thruster. This is normally stabilizers, but the stabilizers are off at the moment because they've they've been uh, they're not operating at the moment. And then we'll lift anchor for shackles, so around 27 meters to a shackle, so around over 100 meters of chain of water. We've got depth of around 20 meters, 18, 20 meters underneath the keel. Yeah, we're switching now to starboard side bridge wing. Now in line with this sector of our Sorry, James.
So as you saw, Doctor, that's a horrible sound, we don't like that. Uh, so coming in, didn't you use the bow thruster, had the wind on the stern, uh, only use the bow thruster once we're in just to hold the vessel in position while the deck team got the lines in place. Nicely tied up now, the technician should be coming shortly to then start fixing the electrical box for the stabilizers, hope to get that all sorted. Guests are very happy there on the bridge deck, having a nice glass of champagne still. Uh, we've arrived right back in Calvi, some of you may have seen it, our previous vlog we came into Calvi, as you can see out the window here, it's beautiful here. Let's crack on and show you guys how we fix these stabilizers. Okay, we're down in the ECR now, guys. I've uh, got Slavin here and Francesco from Samos. Now, Samos is a representative for Nyad. Nyad is the brand of our stabilizers. He's brought the new electrical box. So, Slav, just give us a quick here it is, the brand new one. That's what we've got to replace. So, basically, as explained um, previously in the video, um, Slavin was doing a diagnostics over the phone with a technician, went through all the process and then realized that we need to get a new, a new box. So Francesco drove from Via Reggio to Milano, to Milan, got yes. a new box, new then box. he drove to Genoa. Genoa. Uh, and then got the ferry to, ferry to, to Corsica, Corsica. And, now, and then we just came in now. So he's met us here and there guys are gonna install yeah. this, remove the old one and then install the new one. So this is, because the boat is uh, 10 years old, we have old uh, control box yeah. electronics for uh, stabilizers. According to the failure, yeah. The failure uh, was alarm uh, power uh, failure. Uh, the, the code is 810 power failure. So according to this, we check the capacitors. We checked inside the, the connections for uh, electro motor and from main switchboard to the power to it's all okay all connections was correct mm -hmm. tight no have any correct uh, no no leaks no 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 grounding so i called the uh, francesco explain him the problem and he asked me to i send him some pictures of uh, main panels and boards and everything and he after half hour, one hour, he's uh, calling the the service. M. M. Amatron. Amatron. Okay. And a CG product. Yes, and he give him uh, give them uh, the serial number and the number of the box, everything. They said, this is normal alarm. After ten years, they coming. Okay. It's very old system. Yeah. So what we can do? It's we cannot repair just the board because we don't know which resistor going off or something. We need to buy a new, complete new unit. But this unit, it's new. Maybe need some calibration or I don't know. We'll see when we install and it's complete project. Brand new. Brand new, the instruction book. And practically the, how I see here, on this box i have one fan more okay so it's more cooling more cooling okay 
so I don't know I will see when we connect and we need to make test then we will see what's going on okay so as for the long-term viewers of the channel you know we went underwent a seven month refit we did as much as we possibly could there's always going to be things you don't pick up this the stabilizers are working fine up until now now we're at august we got launched back in uh, april um but you know it's one of those things luckily it hasn't affected any of the chances the guests are not even aware of the situation so they're they're still happy and hopefully between slavin and, and um what's the engineer's name again francesco francesco they'll install this today hopefully calibrate it and we'll be all set and ready by by tomorrow morning and continue the trip the current guests are on board for two more nights and then they'll be going home and then we'll be shooting down to bonifacio to pick up next charter so we're going to leave it to the guys now to re remove the old one and install a new one and then we'll do some checks right so that's so this is the old box here so this is the old box fbu or v vfb yeah variable, variable frequency driver this is the, the specification of the control box and uh, the main box so in this box here we have three three boards and the main power board is on the big on the up so last right back yeah, yeah. Right back. so main board middle and then then coming the connection for for the control now francesco will check and i think we just need to, to replace it with okay. the connection, so all the same, just TV plug TV. and play. Plug Hopefully and play. it's plug and play. So basically guys, you can see all the electronics are out here under the port side generator. So you can see they removed all the wires. Obviously the breakers are down, so the, it's, all the power is being isolated here. And it was just mounted against this bracket yes. here and against that bracket okay. there yeah. and then these are the cables that, that, that make it uh, make it functional cool right so now it's the next day the electronic box has now been installed we've just dropped anchor about five minutes ago we did an hour and a half sea trial and i'm very happy to say that the stabilizers are back in normal operation i'm going to show you what the guys have done how they installed it quickly in the engine room the generators are running, so I won't be able to talk. I'm going to show you the footage. that's up and running again we were very very lucky the last two three days when uh, the stabilizer failed that the weather was good so it didn't affect the um, time on board that the guests were having and uh, Sam was doing a great job the company that came over from Italy got the part quickly shipped it over by a ferry installed it yesterday evening took him three or four hours to install and everything's operating as, as usual so now that box has got a year warranty a commercial vessel the private vessel you get a two-year warranty and that'll be good now in theory uh, hopefully for the next 10 years um, so before we end the video uh, I'm gonna show you where we're anchored absolutely stunning gonna go out of the garage walk through the slime master all good all good all good all good all good yeah you okay you okay okay how's it going Jace? Living the dream, living, like every day. Living the dream, not a bad place to be mopping the swim platform. Nah. Look at the colour of that water. Yes. Yo, Sly's happy he's got a new shore power plug. Exciting time, Sly. How to keep an engineer happy, buy him a new shore power plug. Right, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help us to, to grow. And I look forward to seeing you next video.